today we're going to show you how to change your Wi-Fi's name and password coming up. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel if you've been here before and of course welcome to the channel if this is your first time being here. In any case, I appreciate you all for being here. You know, I was thinking to myself the other day while going through all of the different types of videos that we have on this channel that we have a major lack of networking type of content. So today we're going to be showing you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to get into your router of your Wi-Fi and actually change your Wi-Fi's name and password. This video is perfect for those that just bought a new router and are looking to set it up for the first time or maybe you're going through and setting up an existing router or the third option maybe you're not here for either one of those and you're just here to be here and support the channel in that case so just before we begin the instructions we are going to be demoing this on a Netgear Nighthawk gaming router however you can take about 90 95 percent of the steps that we're going to be giving you today and applying it to different routers of different manufacturers although the UI or the user interface may be a little bit different and the instructions may vary just a little bit. The first thing that we're going to want to do is get logged into the router via a browser window. For today's demo I'm going to go ahead and use Chrome but you're more than welcome to use your browser of choice. Now is also a good idea to probably have your manual handy for your specific router just because there are some things in it that you may need to reference such as the IP address or the default IP address, username and password. However, if you are working on a Netgear router like we are doing today, you can actually enter in the URL http colon forward slash forward slash router login dot net and this is actually going to automatically forward you over to the router's login page. I'll go ahead and post this link or this URL in the video description so you guys can use that if you need to going forward. But once you've got that typed up here in the URL box, you're going to go ahead and hit enter. Once you've hit enter, one of two things is going to happen. If this is a new Netgear router, you actually may be prompted to go through a brief setup wizard and this is going to walk you through the steps of setting up a router's password and also some security questions. If a wizard doesn't appear and is just asking for a simple username and password to get logged into the router, Netgear's default information is going to be admin as the username and then it's going to be password as the password without any type of quotation marks. Once you've completed the wizard or you've typed in the information and logged into the router, you're going to head on over to the left hand side and you're going to click on the wireless option. Once you've clicked on wireless, this page is going to load and it's probably going to bombard you with a bunch of information. Fortunately, most of the settings in here we're actually going to ignore in order to keep this a basic level video. And we're just going to worry about changing the Wi-Fi's name and the password right here. Now this router and most routers nowadays will support two different frequencies, one of them being 2.4 and one of them being a 5 gigahertz band. Now to keep things pretty simple, 2.4 is going to be a bit slower, but it's also going to give you a longer range and a longer area of effect. 5 gigahertz is faster, it has faster data transfer speeds, but it's got less of a range. As you can see, I've got them both turned on because I use them as I need to. First, we're going to come in and we're actually going to change the wireless network of the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. To do this, we're going to come up to the name and we're going to change it from escaped Nigerian prince. We're going to do the LAN before time. And again, just for the sake of basics, we're going to leave these two settings alone. Yours may say auto and this might be that on its highest speed. We're also going to come over here to security options and leave this on WPA2-PSK. This is going to be your most common household or basic frequency encryption as far as like a password type or a security option. So we're going to leave that as is and we're going to move on down to the password or the network key. From here I'm just going to type in, let's do little foot, put some lead speak in there to make it, you know, quote unquote harder. And then of course you're going to want to go through and fill in these values with whatever you want your network and your password name to be. Also, yes, I am a child at heart. The Land Before Time was an awesome series and you can fight me if you don't agree. Once we have those settings in place, we're going to come up to the top middle of the page right up here and we're going to left click on apply. Now you may receive a couple of prompts, you may not. I'm getting these prompts because I actually have the 5 gigahertz number 2 turned off. It's not enabled. It's not broadcasting the SSID, so the WPS system is just saying, hey, it needs to be broadcasting if you want this to work. You may not get this at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then I'm getting this one as well. Are you sure that you don't want any wireless security? It's because again, the number two network down here is set to none for security options, which I'm not worried about it at all because this five gigahertz dash two network isn't even working. I have it completely turned off. So I'm just gonna go ahead 
and click OK once again. You probably won't get those as if this is a new router or you're setting it up for the first time or whatever. It's most likely going to go to this screen where it's just gonna say updating settings. Your router may take a moment to reboot and it may take a couple minutes for this new network to show up on a Wi-Fi list. Once the settings have applied, it's gonna automatically revert back to the same wireless setup page that you were just on. And it's gonna show you that it's confirmed that we have successfully changed the name of the Wi-Fi and we've also successfully changed the password of this Wi-Fi network as well. Now from here, you're gonna to want to grab your phone or laptop or something that you can use to connect to that new Wi-Fi, search the Wi-Fi settings and see if your Wi-Fi name now shows up in the list. Once you find it, go ahead and tap or click on it, type in the password that you set up in the settings and click on connect. And that's all there is to it. Feel free to repeat the steps if you do have a five gigahertz network. As you saw in the router settings, you can have a network name and a password for each type of frequency. And that wraps up this week's tech tip, bringing us into our question of the day. And because we referenced Land Before Time, what was your favorite animated movie? Leave your answers in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it on your social media platform of choice. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell icon for future content and we will see you on the next one. <gasps>